So this is the open male class. Uh, there are two dogs in the ring. Both get the grading excellent. The winner today, uh, catalog number 227, is the absolutely clear winner of this class. He's an impressive dog. He's a high quality dog with a very good head and expression. He's got high withers. He's got a straight firm back. He's got very good front and very good hind angulations. He's got a good top and underline and he's got a good group. And he moves beautifully in all phases, maintaining the correct posture with lot of hind thrust and good forward reach. Congratulations, worthy winner today. Excellent one. Catalog number 261. He's a big dog. Uh, he's got a good head. He's got high withers. He's got good front angulation with the upper arm could be longer and better angulated. He's got good top and underline. The croup is short and steep and he's got very good hind angulation and in the movement he moves uh, correctly maintaining the correct posture he gets excellent today excellent too Okay, so this is for the CC and reserve CC. Uh, there are five dogs in the ring, all are the winners of the respective classes. Uh, this was a very tough call between the first two dogs. So I gave them each their due share of time and chance to move and prove themselves. Both of these uh, two dogs, even all of these, uh, the, there's the junior dog, three dogs. I have a different class so for me it was a very difficult decision between the first two dogs and uh, I will tell you my decision was based on one one small thing uh, I've placed this dog first because because no 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 wait wait wait, wait, wait. I'm not laughing yet I have placed this dog in the front because he is much older he's much more developed and he is at this point in time showing himself dog a better dog but because this is a big competition we have to choose the best from the best so each and every thing of the dog should be perfect this dog as i showed to the owner and uh, the handler has got an extra incisor he's got seven incisors in the top jaw which is not a disqualifiable fault the dog still can get excellent but cannot get VA. For a VA means excellent select. These all are V dogs. These all are excellent dogs. Now we have to select the best from the best. So perfect dentition has to be a criteria here. And that is why my reserve best of uh, CC goes to this dog. Otherwise, if perfect dentition, this would have been my CC. CC today is catalog number 233 CC. Thank you. Reserve CC. <laughs>
winner today, catalog number 231. She's a nice, typeful female. She's got a lovely pigmentation. She's got a nice feminist head. She's got a nice eye yeah, with us. Good front angulations, very good hand angulation, and good movement. Congratulations, very promising one. In the second place, 267 is a large bitch. She's got lovely, uh, she's got a nice feminist head. She's got normal withers. She's got lovely proportions, good top and underline. The group is shorter place, catalog number 268. So she's above medium size, medium strong bitch, with normal withers. She's got good front angulations, very good hind angulations. The group is short and steep, and the movement is good. Third position, thank you. Due to the shortage of time, we're only going to give critique to the first three dogs now. Thank you. Promising. The winner is show number 269. She's an all black bitch. Uh, she's got a nice feminine head. She's got nice expressions. She's got high villas. She's got a straight form back. She's got very good front angulations and very good high angulations. And she's got good top and underline. And the group, which is of the correct lay, should be a bit longer. And she's got free flying movement. Congratulations. Very promising one. In the second position, show number 270 is a big bitch. She has got normal withers, uh, she's got good proportions, good front angulations, the upper arm could be better. Length, she should have a better length, she's got very good height angulations, the group is short and steep, and the, in the movement the front feet should be more free. females in the ring all four get the grading very good the winner today is catalog number 229 uh, she's the clear winner for this class she's got a very feminist beautiful head she's got lovely expressions she's got a lovely type she's got high withers straight from back she's got very good front and hind angulations she's got very good top and underline she's got a good croup and she moves beautifully in both faces uh, maintaining the correct posture she is the, uh, for me, is the clear winner of the class today. Two to one, very good one. Two, three, zero. She's a big bitch. Uh, she has a good head, normal withers. She's got straight back. She's got sh uh, short and steep croup. Good front and very good hind angulations. And then movement, she lacks the dynamism in the movement and she should be more energetic in the movement. After a few rounds, she was falling on the forehand and that's why she lost her place. She's second today. Third bitch, uh, show number 209, is not in the best of condition today. She should have a bit more substance on her. She's a lovely feminist type female. She's got a lovely head. She's got high withers, she's got a firm back, she's got good front angulations. If the upper arm could be longer and better angulated. She's got very good hind angulations, good top and underline. The group is short and steep. 
in the movement phase, she slow gait, she gained a position because she was moving with much more dynamism than the front female, covering a lot of um, more ground than the first, first female, second female. In the trotting round, when, was, when they trotted together, this female was pacing constantly. In the second round, she was pacing, so she lost the place. She is third today, SG3. Novice female class. Uh, there are five females in the ring. All get the grading excellent. So the winner for me today is catalog number two two eight. She's uh, above medium size, very tight for female. She's strong. She's she's got good substance. She's got a very beautiful female feminine head with dark eyes. She's got a high wither. She's got a lovely top line. Very good front and very good hind angulations. And she's got lovely movement in all phases. She goes, she's going straight, coming straight, and correct in every uh, department. Uh, she's a clear winner today. Catalog number 228, excellent one. Catalog 240, she's another bitch that I really like. She's got a beautiful head. Uh, she's got high withers. She's got a firm back. Uh, she's got good front and very good hind angulations. She got, she's got a low set croup, good top and underline. The problem uh, with this female as compared to the front female is she stands a bit east-west in the front. So I gave her many, many chances and saw maybe that female could correct it, but that is prominent even the female is coming. She comes with the open front with the right paw facing outside. It has to be completely straight and not on the right. The hind quarters, the hind are not as firm as the female in the front. So in this competition, she has to be second today. Otherwise, she's a really nice pitch. 242, excellent two. 287, she's above medium size, medium strong female. She's got a normal wither. She's got very good front and very good hind angulations. She's got a croup this is, that is well laid, but could be a shade longer. And she shows good movement in all departments. Excellent three, congratulations.
this is the limit female short court class. We've got three bitches in the ring. All three get excellent. The uh, winner for me, catalog number 305, is the absolutely clear winner of the class. She's a very type for female. She's, got, she's strong, she's substantial, she's got a lovely head, she's got dark eyes, she's got a lovely fl flying flowing top line, good underline, very good hind angulations, very good front angulations, and she shows good movement. Show number 235, she's uh, also a large female with good feminine head, she's got dark eyes, she's got a normal wither. A normal straight back, she's got good front angulations, very good hind angulations. The group is well placed but could be a shade longer and she shows good movement in all phases. Excellent too. Female number 236, she's a big female. She's got very nice feminish uh, head with very good expression. She's got high withers. She's got a straight form back, very good front angulations where the upper arm could be longer and better angulated. She's got very good hind angulations. The group is short and steep. But in the movement, the female tends to pace. So uh, if, even when she, she starts to trot, she just breaks and starts to pace. So that is why she could not compete with the female in, two females in front. Uh, still, she gets excellent because of her anatomy today. Excellent three. class three females in the ring all three get excellent so the winner today is uh, 292 she's a very impressive female with a very lively expressions dark eyes beautiful feminine head high withers she's got a good top and underline good front angulations and very good hind angulations and very good movement congratulations excellent one show number 237 she's a large female well pigmented she's got a beautiful head, she's got nice withers, good front angulations, where the upper arm could be better angulated. She's got good top and underline, and she's got very good movement in both phases. So she gets excellent to do today. Congratulations. 215, she's uh, f above medium size female, she's a bit compact, she's got nice head, dark eyes, she's got uh, good forehand, but the upper arm should be better angulated and longer. She's got very good hind angulation. The group is short and steep, and she's a bit compact and does not show the same enthusiasm and movement as the above two females. So she gets third position today. Excellent three. Congratulations.